Today we're going to be talking about Dharma agreements. So what is a Dharma? A Dharma is effectively a labour agreement under the 4A2 visa program that is effectively managed by the business community and the local council within a specific region of Australia. Now these are usually regional areas and they certainly are here in Western Australia. And we have at the moment four Dharma agreements in Western Australia but there is a fifth that's being negotiated. What a Dharma agreement does is effectively allows for people who don't normally fit under the permanent residence migration program options to still acquire permanent residence. So the big areas of a Dharma agreement usually are the types of occupations and this can include truck drivers, machine operators, waiters, um, farm workers etc. Under the standard migration program there's no PR pathway, there's no 482 sponsored visa pathway as a general principle. But under the Dharma program, depending on the area that you're in, a whole range of occupations that are in high demand in regional areas can meet the permanent residence requirement. The next component is that many of the Dharma agreements are negotiated to allow people with lower levels of English, those with less than IELTS 6 for example, to meet the requirements for the Dharma. And the third major point is that under the Australian Visa Program, permanent residence is usually restricted to those under 45 years of age. In a Dharma agreement, people up to 55 years of age can still apply for permanent residence. Now that's a real major win because there are lots of people within who are more than 45 who have substantial skills and qualifications and experience that can make a substantial contribution to the nation but are normally excluded. So Dharma agreements are super important. The process for a Dharma agreement is effectively that an employer sponsors an employee under the, the conditions of the Dharma and the 482 visa program. So you can imagine it's a combination of both. Those nominations are then approved by the regional authorising body and the Department of Immigration. Then the visa application is made. The visa application will usually be granted where the person meets all the criteria. And then the person is on effectively a 482 visa. After three years, they can transition to an employer-sponsored or an employer-nominated 186 permanent visa. Um, in some, some uh, aspects, it might be possible to apply for a 191, but these are, again, slightly different requirements. You can also apply directly for a 186 under a Dharma agreement where a person meets the, the more exacting requirements. There are also exemptions for work experience, the amount of work experience required, uh, usually one year instead of two for the 482 visa and two years instead of three for the 186 visa. So the Dharma, the Dharma agreements are excellent and certainly provide opportunities for people with occupations not on the major lists and also whose age is greater than 45 for permanent visas. So we do a lot of Dharma um, applications and we're really happy to say that they've all been so far approved. The organisations we work with here in Western Australia are transparent and the process is very clear and very precise. So we'll know well and truly in advance of any application you know, if your chances of success are going to be high. And usually speaking, we do not do applications unless we believe you will be successful. So if you fall into one of those categories and uh, somebody who's very happy to work in a regional area, come and talk to us because we're more than happy to find sponsors for you. There are lots of sponsors looking for employees and uh, we work with both the sponsor and the employee to make this happen. So, interested in a Dharma? Come and talk to us.